Right, so here we go with another Premier League weekend. A um, little bit of a break. Uh, blimey, nothing changes, does it? Pretty underwhelming again from, from England. On that evidence, got absolutely no chance in Russia. Uh, Gareth reminds me a little bit of Roy. Really nice fellas, but hardly inspirational. And I just, I just don't think that they're up to the job. Anyway, um, time will tell. But um, I think I'm not the only one who's thinking like that, according to the people who turn out and watching them. And yeah, I think it's totally unconvincing. But there we go. Let's kick on with uh, the first game, which certainly isn't unconvincing. This is the biggie for these two. Liverpool against Man United. Uh, forget Everton, forget Man City. This is the one that matters. This is the one that counts. This is where all the, you know, the, the, the hatred is probably too strong a word, but actually, no, it's not. It's probably not. This is where uh, the real feeling is. Um, is it going to be a tight game? Is Mourinho going to go there, sit for a draw, try and keep it tight? You know, are we going to get an early goal? Will the game explode into life? Um, I'm hoping it's... I'm going to go for the, uh, the positive rather than negative here. I'm going to go for over 2.5 goals and both teams to score. So I'm very much in that camp for this one, fingers crossed, which is 6-5. to five. Both teams to score um, and... Uh, over 2.5 goals, that is 6-5 to five in this game. A little bit of value there. Uh, next, we'll move on to oh, Burnley against West Ham. Um, starting to settle down now. We're finally starting to see exactly what West Ham are all about after those three tough away games at the start of the season. Um, Burnley have been brilliant. Sean Dyche, absolutely magnificent yet again. Um, I'm going to go for under 2.5 goals in this game. We're going to go exact opposite to what we've just said. Uh, with regard to the the previous game, under 2.5 goals is four to six. I'm going to go for the draw as well at 12 to five. So individually, four to six, 12 to five. If you want to double them up, it's seven to two. So I don't know how you prefer your bets. Probably four to six is a little bit too skinny for most, but 12 to five the draw, seven to two for the double. Moving on, to Watford against Arsenal. Um, well, <laughs> what are we going to get from either of these? Uh, so up and down. He's a good manager. Fellow at Watford, um, did a good job at Hull and he's doing a good job now. I think they'll be all right this year. He's brought some good players in. Um, they've already shown that, uh, you know, obviously the Man City uh, game aside, that they can be competitive and they're going to be interesting to watch. They're going to be good to watch at times. They are capable going forward. Arsenal, we know all about Arsenal. Um, score draw in this one, 4-1. to one. Very, very difficult to find another way into this game. So score draw for me at 4-1. to one. Palace against Chelsea. Uh, I'm going to go back against all the form lines here. I'm going to go for Palace to actually score in this game. Um, I'm not going to go completely mad because I'm going to go for Chelsea to win the game. But I'm going to go for Chelsea to win and both teams to score, which is 12 to 5. So Chelsea to win, Palace to actually score and Chelsea to score. Both teams to score, 12 to 5. Last but not least, we go on to Sunday, 4 o'clock. Uh, Saints against Newcastle. Um, neither of these sides have really... Convinced, have they? Um, you know, we know about the woes at, at, at Newcastle. Um, I think you just got to get on with it. Um, Saints cannot score a goal at home. It's a follow-over from last year, but at least last year, they, you know, they were they were okay in the league and they got to a cup final and should have won the cup final. So, I think there's a few people who are, are thinking, you know, uh, you know what might have been, it might have kept the manager from last year. But anyway, um, I'm going to go for Saints to win this one. And I'm going to go, go from to win it to nil. I think it's a bit.